Hey you folks, you want an adorable new mount in Final Fantasy XIV? Yeah you do. Well good news for you, you can get this cute dandelion rodent thing in just a few hours. And in this video guide, I'll walk you through exactly how. This mount, called Silky, comes from fully exploring the new variant dungeon added in patch 6.25, the Sildene Subterrain. Variant dungeons are a new type of duty with branching storylines that are affected by player choices within the dungeon. You can tackle these dungeons in any size party, up to four people, and they are easily soloable thanks to adjusting difficulty and the addition of variant actions. As you explore the variant dungeon and make different choices, you'll experience new bits of dialogue, unlock new lore chapters in the survey record, and even change the mechanics of the various bosses within the dungeon. Successfully unlocking every chapter within the survey record gets you the Silky Mount. Without further ado, here's the walkthrough. The Sildene Subterrain starts off with three branching paths to pick from. Each path has four survey records associated with it. The first four come from the leftmost path, so we'll start there. For the first survey record, Whom the Silky Serves, after you have cleared a few packs of enemies, Nanima will comment on a water culvert blocked by mud. This is the first location where you can make a decision that will affect which survey record you unlock. Push the water lever to clear the mud and continue on. This will remove some mud puddle AoEs from the boss encounter and add a knockback effect. Once the boss is defeated, continue on until reaching a room with two stone pedestals, where Nanamo will remark on a puzzle requiring two eyes to see. This is the second location on this branch of the dungeon that will affect your survey record. For survey record number one, you must grab two very specific ore sacks, the blue-green sack on top of the rubble, and the yellow sack in the back right of the room on top of some dirt. This will activate a teleporter, taking you to a new area. After clearing out the enemies in this area, look along the northern wall for a door and stand next to it. Once Nanamo finishes her dialogue, the door will become interactable and reveal a large ewer. Head back to Nanamo and she will comment on the ewer, indicating that you've successfully triggered the conditions for survey record 1. This will add some new moving AoE mechanics to the last boss and remove some of the broom mechanics. Beat down the last boss and survey record 1 will be complete. For Survey Record 2, Pride and Acceptance, follow the same path as Record 1, except for a few key differences. Do not activate the water lever when Nanamo comments on it, instead running past it to the boss. This will add mud puddles to the boss encounter as well as a line knockback. After defeating the boss, place the same two ore sacks that we used for Survey Record 1 on their pedestals. This time, after teleporting, do not open the door containing the ewer. Instead, follow Nanamo to the gate and defeat the boss. For survey record three, a spot in the sunlight, we will begin by pushing the water lever like we did for record one. Once you reach the room with the ore sack puzzle, place any two sacks on the pedestals, but make sure they aren't the same sacks we used for records one and two. The door in front of you should open, and Nanamo will comment on how she didn't understand the riddle. Head through the door and clear out the enemies. On the ground around you will be several white circles of dandelion fluff. Walk through any or all of the fluff puddles before continuing to the boss, who will now have a new deep clean mechanic similar to the brooms from the Grand Cosmos dungeon. For survey record 4, a key memory, we will begin by skipping the water lever this time. Once back to the ore sack puzzle, place two of the incorrect ore sacks on the pedestals. After walking through the door, make sure that this time you do not trigger any of the dandelion fluff puddles. With the last boss dead, we're officially done with the leftmost branch of the variant dungeon. Starting with survey record 5 in Father's Stead, we will be clearing the right branch of the dungeon. There aren't any important choices to make here leading up to the first boss. After defeating the first boss, we'll reach a switch that will activate the left or right lift. This is the first location where the player's choice will decide the survey record outcome, but the choice only matters for two of the survey records. Pick the left lift here if you want to see a different set of enemies before you're required to go right, 
or just pick the right lift for consistency. After clearing the last pack of feebads, you will reach a door with a riddle. For survey record 5, answer spark, which will fail the riddle and make the door targetable. Break the door down and continue to the final boss of the branch who will now have a knockback mechanic. Defeat him to complete survey record 5. For survey record 6, Uldaz Sin to Bear, we will be repeating all the same steps that we followed for record number 5. Again, the lift choice here doesn't matter yet, but once you reach the riddle door, answer Flame. The door will open for you and replace the knockback mechanic on the last boss with Fireline AoEs. Beat him down once again. For survey record 7, to learn more of Murr. Progress through the right path once again until you return to the lift switch. Here the lift choice does matter, so raise the right lift and clear the next pack of enemies. After the first group of enemies, you will face five drakes of various sizes. Defeat these drakes in order from largest to smallest, father, mother, brother, sister, and then drakeling to open a hidden passageway. Proceed through the now open tunnel, stopping after you clear out the ghastly enemies at the end. Once Nanamo has finished her dialogue, look around for an incense burner that will now be interactable. Pick it up and continue to the last boss, who will now have a draw-in mechanic combined with a circle AoE. Defeat him to complete survey record 7. The last survey record for the right branch of the dungeon is actually survey record 12 in Parchment We Trust. While it is out of order numerically, it makes more sense to cover it while we're already talking about the right portion of the dungeon. Follow the same steps that we used for survey record 7. Pick the right lift, kill the drakes in order, and retrieve the incense burner. This time, once you reach the final boss, do not interact with the sarcophagus. Instead, target the sarcophagus and perform the following emotes in order. Bow, Respect, V-Pose, and Kneel. Nanamo will point out that you are performing funeral rites, and a new path will open up behind the sarcophagus, leading to a secret boss. Defeat them to complete survey record 12 and finish off the right branch of Sildene Subterrain. Starting with survey record 8, Ulda and Sildi will begin exploring the middle path of the dungeon. Follow our dear potato queen until you reach a door locked by a valve switch. This choice does not affect the survey record, and only affects the first boss mechanics. Pick any valve, defeat the boss, and continue on until you come upon a set of scales. If you remember the scale puzzle from the Sunken Temple of Karn, this puzzle will be very familiar. Use the same solution of Flame Left and Fruit Right. Congratulations, you failed the puzzle. Not to worry though, this is exactly what we want for survey record 8. Proceed to the last boss, who will be blocked off by a gap in the floor. Use the right lever here to spawn a gust of wind in the gap, as well as add a knock-up mechanic to the last boss. Finish the encounter to complete record 8. For record 9, raising the flags, repeat all of the same steps that we followed for record 8. Pick any valve and fail the scales puzzle. At the floor gap before the final boss, pull the left lever this time to drop a boulder into the hole in the floor. This adds a meteor mechanic to the last encounter and completes the last requirement for survey record 9. For survey record 10, again pick any valve and continue until you reach the scales puzzle. At the scales, we will instead use the correct solution of helm left and fruit right. Much like the orsac puzzle in the left branch of the dungeon, this will enable a teleporter that will take us to a new area. In here, pick up the scrawled note on the left, which gives us the solution to the Orsac puzzle. Fight your way through the remaining enemies where you will find yourself before two statues, one of Nald and one of Thal. For survey record 10, pick Nald and head through the now open doorway to complete the last encounter, which now has the addition of line AoEs forming safe quadrants of the arena. For survey record 11, the Thorn Legacy, the last survey record, will follow the same steps as survey record 10. Pick any valve and complete the scales puzzle with helm left, fruit right. Head through the teleporter, kill the packs of enemies inside, and this time pick the statue of Thal. 
the boss will now have rotating line AoEs originating from corners of the room. Defeat the final boss to complete survey record 11, our last survey record. If you've been following the video guide up to this point, your survey record should be filled out and you should be rewarded with the Dig Deep Sildene Subterrain Achievement, which gives you the Silky Mount. If you folks found this video guide helpful, please let me know in the comments below. And if I got something wrong, also let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy the sound of my voice, feel free to come check me out on Twitch, where we raid endgame content on Final Fantasy twice weekly with my mid-course static. Otherwise, until next time, and you all take care.